When I got here, I arrived broke and unknown, and it was hopeless. And then in 54, we set up this business, largely through sort of colossal confidence and ignorance. It succeeded, it succeeded. Yeah, I mean, it's very hard to encapsulate briefly, you know, what the, my dad's qualities, but I mean, in that, in, in that film, you can see very clearly, even then, that he was um, completely fearless, very sort of almost anti-establishment, really just sort of up for the design fight in the general sense. We're still pushing ourselves to just uh, push those boundaries, push the edges of those, of those envelopes. Only a while ago, Simon was referred to as a design terrorist by a Dutch subcontractor, a title that I think he's secretly proud of. We don't challenge for challenge's sake, but uh, you know, it's much more rewarding if you can make these, these dreams, and they are, they are going to evolve, and clients' ideas evolve, but if you can make these dreams real, I mean, then that's the most satisfying thing in the world. We have a fantastic team, actually. Previously and historically, ballet dancers, hotel designers, palace designers, car designers. A dog. A dog. Everyone's got interests. They're not necessarily within that yachting bubble. There's interest in cars, there's interest in set design, there's interest in product design. And I think all of that helps the mix to be something more than just the, you know, the potentially limiting world of just yachting. People who come through our studio door, you know, they've made a kind of decision in the first place. They're not coming to us for a conventional and even comfortable design journey. They're after something a little different. And it's our job, that's why we're hired, to take people on that journey. It doesn't have to be a, a straight line, it can, be, um, it can be a design fork in the road. So, you know, we're, we're doing something different, that's what we do.